Inside the Iron, the hidden vulnerabilities of caterpillar bulldozers. Caterpillar bulldozers, symbols of unrelenting power, are used worldwide in construction, mining, forestry, and infrastructure. They level mountains, push tons of material, and keep economies moving. But even the iron giant with its resilience can face challenges. In this extended report, we delve into the less glamorous side of caterpillar dozers, the common pain points, real-world failures, and what operators are saying from the seat of the cab. The foundation that breaks first, undercarriage challenges. The undercarriage, which includes tracks, rollers, idlers, and frames, is a critical component in caterpillar bulldozers. It accounts for up to 50% of long-term maintenance costs and has become a familiar battleground for many Caterpillar models, especially the D6 and D8 series. In certain production years, operators and service managers began noticing an unsettling trend, premature idler and track link failures. The cause? Inadequate sealing in the idler bearing hubs, allowing grit and water to enter and destroy internal components. Our D8T started eating idlers before the 2000 hour mark, said a maintenance lead in Nevada. Seals were gone. We had mud in the hubs. This led to specific consequences or costs. Worn bushings, cracked seals, and misaligned tracks soon followed. Some reported spending thousands on new track groups well before expected service intervals. Battle with heat, cooling system, weak points, Tier 4 final emission standards pushed diesel engine makers to innovate. For Caterpillar, this meant denser cooling packages and electric variable speed fans. In theory, this setup reduced fuel usage and lowered noise. In practice, in dirty environments, it became a liability. In landfills and dusty mine sites, the radiators of Caterpillar bulldozers clogged fast leading to struggling cooling fans and daily temperature alarms. This not only disrupted the operation, but also led to derate events, further complicating the work. We had to stop every two hours to blow the radiators out, said a landfill operator in Missouri. Leaky business, hydraulic and seal failures. Beyond the idler hubs, Caterpillar machines have seen issues with hydraulic cylinder seals and hose routing particularly in harsh, vibration-heavy environments. Improperly shielded lines, or sharp bracket angles, led to frequent ruptures, sometimes mid-operation. We had a lift cylinder blow right during final grading. Hydraulic oil sprayed 10 feet into the air, said a foreman in New Mexico. While newer machines now include better hose management, the retrofitting process for older units is complex and often skipped in favor of reactive maintenance. Hybrid power, complex problems, the D6XE story. The D6XE promised 35% better fuel efficiency and smoother control, but early owners reported controller malfunctions and software bugs. The sophisticated electric system required pristine conditions and tight maintenance routines. The torque was beautiful, when it worked, said a contractor from Canada. High voltage systems introduced new training and safety challenges. Longer downtimes and dealer dependency frustrated many crews. We had to tow it back to the yard just to clear an error, one fleet manager said. Death by data, sensor overload in modern machines. Modern dozers use sensors for GPS, blade load, throttle control, and more. But sensor faults, from wiring fatigue to software errors, regularly caused shutdowns and lost time. Five times we lost throttle because of the same $90 sensor, said a technician in Georgia. Without advanced diagnostics, even minor glitches led to major delays. When automation misfires, grade control system issues. CAT grade control is meant to improve precision but in unstable soils or signal drop areas, operators faced blade jerks and misalignments. You're cutting a slope and suddenly the blade jerks, said a supervisor from Texas. Many ended up disabling automation to finish the job properly. Mental load, 
the human side of operating complex machines. As bulldozers become more complex, the cognitive load on operators has increased. Modern cabs resemble aircraft cockpits filled with alerts, screens, and software layers. For veteran operators, this is a radical shift. I grew up running iron by feel. Now I spend half my day interpreting error codes, said a 30-year operator from Pennsylvania. Fatigue, alert anxiety, and interface confusion are real. While Caterpillar has improved screen ergonomics and simplified menus, not all users adapt easily. The feedback loop, Caterpillar's fixes, and future. Caterpillar's voice of the customer program has been instrumental in the company's response to feedback. Operators have played a crucial role in redesigning diagnostics, improving seal durability, and fine-tuning blade automation, demonstrating Caterpillar's commitment to listening to its users. They flew us out to Peoria and actually listened, one operator said. Newer models show promise, but older units still struggle without retroactive fixes. CAT is also exploring predictive maintenance, AI-driven diagnostics, and more resilient sensor networks, possibly ushering in a new era of self-healing machinery in the coming decade. The hidden cost of parts, supply chain, and support challenges. Even the toughest machines need replacement parts. And when they do, Availability can mean the difference between a day's delay and a month's loss of revenue. During global supply chain disruptions from 2020 onward, Caterpillar owners around the world reported significant delays for undercarriage kits, ECUs, hydraulic components, and even simple filters. We waited six weeks for a main pump. In the meantime, the dozer just sat. That's not downtime. That's dead time, said a site manager in British Columbia. Although Caterpillar maintains a massive global logistics network, many regional dealers were unable to fulfill emergency parts orders in time, especially in remote or rural areas. Some resorted to harvesting parts from inactive machines, while others turned to aftermarket suppliers, risking warranty violations just to keep moving. How does CAT compare? Compared to competitors like Komatsu and Liebherr, Caterpillar shines in parts availability and global service networks. However, some users argue that Komatsu's simpler hydraulic systems are more field-friendly, especially in areas without strong dealer support. Komatsu doesn't break down as often, but when it does, you can fix it with a wrench and a voltmeter. One dual fleet mechanic said, Caterpillar's resale value and operator comfort are still top tier. Final words, tough machines, tougher lessons. Caterpillar bulldozers are legends, but no machine is flawless. Real world users, the people in the cabs, are vital to understanding what works and what breaks. And now, what issues have you encountered operating Caterpillar dozers? Your stories help shape better machines and better futures. 